Hello, my name is Mark Pachabowski with Ascent. We create CAD training material. And today we're going to take a look at part one of what's due in CATIA V5 2024 Sketcher Workbench. Specifically, we're going to look at the ability to uh, hide an absolute axis system in newly created sketches and being able to uh, access new contextual menu options within dimensions, which includes swapping location, driven mode, and driving mode for those dimensions. One new feature within the uh, Sketcher Workbench within CATIA V5 uh, in 2024 is the hide absolute axis of a newly created sketch. You can get to this by going to Tools Options, selecting Mechanical Design, Sketcher, and then coming down here to Sketch Plane and Hide Absolute Axis of Newly Created Sketch. When this is off, which is the default, uh, a new sketch will show the vertical and horizontal axis uh, while you're drawing the sketch and after you exited the sketch. So you'll still see it until the entire sketch is hidden. Uh, if this is turned on, then any new sketches that are created, will uh, the vertical and horizontal axis will still be displayed when the sketch is first created, but once you exit the sketch, the vertical and horizontal axis is hidden. You can always go back to the tree, uh, expand the sketch, and hide, the abs or hide or show the absolute axis, but uh, it will automatically hide them for us as long as that's checked. In this example, we're going to look at a tools options setting called Hide Absolute Axis uh, that allows us to create sketches that do not have an axis system display uh, when you exited that sketch. So for example, right now we have a simple part with the default settings, where if I come in here with a regular sketch, it automatically displays the vertical and horizontal axis, which they crisscross at the origin of the part. Uh, that won't change. However, once you draw something in the sketch and you exit it, with the default settings, that vertical and horizontal axis stay visible while the sketch is visible. If I go to Tools, Options, go to uh, Mechanical Design, Sketcher, and within Sketcher, we go to the Sketch Plane region and turn this setting on, Hide Absolute Axis of Newly Created Sketches. Now, that won't affect the sketch I just built. But if I create a brand new sketch, place it on the same or different plane, again, the vertical and horizontal axis still show up as I'm drawing the shape. But once I've drawn the shape, if I exit the sketch, you'll notice that the shape of the sketch still shows up, but the yellow arrows don't of the rectangle. If we go to the sketch there in uh, hidden, you could right click and say hide show to bring them back if you wished. But sketch two was created before that setting was changed, so they're still visible. Another new option available to us in CATIA V5 2024 uh, is the swap location, driven mode, and driving mode options that are available uh, to us in a dimensions contextual menu. So if you have a dimension in the sketch, in this case we have a dimension of 60, an offset dimension between these two lines. It's been placed. You can right click on it, go to whatever the name of it is object, and based on the current state of that dimension, the other states will be available to you. So in this case, this is a driving dimension, it means driving the location of those two lines. If I switch, chose driven mode, it would put little brackets next to it, and it would be telling us the value without controlling the value. If you have a driven uh, dimension and you want it to be driving instead, right click on it, and because it's driven, driving mode will be written there instead, and you can flip it between the two. Uh, another option we have is to choose swap location. Swap location will make the dimension go from maybe this line to the right 60. Instead, it'll take this line to the left 60, and it'll flip it from one side to the other. That is only available for an offset dimension. It is not available for, let's say, an angle or a radius dimension. In this example, we're going to take a look at uh, the contextual menu that's available for dimensions that now will list the swap location, driven mode, and driving mode options. 
Uh, for this to work, we have to have something drawn. So here I have a rectangle. I'm going to place a simple dimension, an offset dimension between two sides. And it places the dimension like before. However, if I select on that dimension, right now this is considered a driving dimension. It's driving the shape. It's driving the offset between the two lines. If I right click on it and go to whatever the name of it is object, because it's driving, I can choose the driven mode. If I swap it to driven mode, now it puts little brackets on either side and it's basically saying that it's reading the value without controlling the value. If I double clicked on this, I wouldn't be able to modify the value and it's the same as if I turned on reference here that toggles them between the two. It's just two different ways of getting to that. If it is driven, I can double click on this or modify it there or I can right click on it, go to whatever the name of this object and then set it back to driving mode. Now another option that you have is to right click, go to whatever the name of this object and then choose swap location. Swap location will get to flip so it's now to the left side instead of the right side. This is only available for an offset dimension. Other dimensions, like an angle, won't necessarily have that same ability to swap the dimension. But we'll be able to switch between driven and driving.